Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out some magnetic lashes, specifically Glamnetic magnetic lashes, and I'm so, so excited to try it. So if you're interested in seeing how these magnetic lashes work, and also how my first time applying press-on nails go, then just keep on watching. I feel like magnetic lashes have been very hyped up for the past like two years. I feel like there's so many brands that use it. And I think it's just like a really cool technology and concept. And I had never tried it before. And I was always like, do I really want to try it? Cause I'm not like, I mean, I love false lashes in general, but it just takes a long time for me to do. So I was like, maybe magnetic lashes can help me. Maybe they'll be a little faster than the typical glue. So when Glamnetic reached out to me to try some of their products and styles, I was super excited. So today's video is in collaboration with Glamnetic. So they sent me over some lashes and they also sent me over some of their press on nails, which I'm super, super excited to try and demonstrate for you in this video. I do wanna put out a disclaimer though, even though this video is in collaboration with Glamnetic, these thoughts and opinions are all my own. And they were also kind enough to send me a pair of lashes before filming this video so I can really try out the lashes and see how they work and see if I like them. So I would truly never do any collaborations or sponsorships of products that I didn't truly love. So this is Verified and then right here is Bella. So you can see very similar in Wispy, but Bella down here has a little bit more of a more wispy and longer end compared to Verified. Like I feel like Verified is a little thicker and then Bella is a little bit longer where this is more of kind of like a shorter lash which is more like a medium lash I would say. Not short by any means, but I really do love wispy lashes. So really excited to try that out. So all the lashes I have are $29.99. The lash grab itself to like kind of help adhere it is also going to be $12.99. And then the liner is gonna be the most expensive at the $42 mark. So I don't think the price is too bad in general just because I have spent quite a bit of money on false lashes. The price of the lashes themselves are pretty comparable to what you see on the market for non-magnetic lashes, especially for mink lashes, which can be a little bit more expensive. So that's pretty on par there. What I've seen on the website, definitely get the one that's like the brown and black liner. I think that's such a good deal. It's like, again, two liners almost basically for the price of one. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go in with Coco Dreams and let's zoom y'all in so you can see. And I'm gonna first start by applying the liner. First one I'm gonna apply is a verified. So the first thing you wanna do, it says, is you wanna remove the lash anchors. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that before because if you can see on these two ends, these two thicker ones are the lash anchors and that's what's really gonna hold the lash in place. So what we wanna do is take those off first. Again, that's what's gonna really secure it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. Do be careful with the lash anchors because they're super small and I'm like dropping them everywhere. These are the lash anchors. A little bit better in here, so one, two. So now what I'm gonna do is just try and apply it based on the shape and then see if we need to cut any. This is gonna go on my left eye. So surprisingly, it looks like these lashes, I'm not gonna have to cut too much or at all. I'm actually gonna try and not cut it and see how it lays. I'm now going to apply the lash since my liner is pretty much dry. It has been that like 30 to 60 second mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my little precise tool. Well, the good thing is it really wants to stick to the liner. It really wants to stick. Oh. The only bad thing is do be careful with any of your lash grabs because it is going to want to cling to the metal of the lash grab. So it's like easier to do it this way, like hold it straight. Wow. That's crazy. And I didn't cut it at all. Okay, so I readjusted it a little bit, but look at that lash. Wow. 
I think it looks really good with the brown liner. So, ah, that's really good. So now I'm gonna apply the anchors with it. So basically what you wanna do with the anchors, you wanna kind of like snatch it into place. All right, so we got one anchor. Now I'm gonna try and do the other anchor. The best way to go like this. Okay, so now we're gonna do the right eye. In the inner corner. Wow. Now to apply the anchors. We did it, we got an anchor on. It took me a sec for that one just cause they are very small. That went on so easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the little tug test. So let's see, comes on. Wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> so, so far I am really impressed with these lashes. I really do like this style. It does look a little bit thicker on this eye specifically. So I did go ahead and put mascara on before I put on these lashes, just because that's what I usually do when I put on any false lashes just so it like blends into my eye a little bit better, but I think it went a little thicker on this one. I think I can also probably cut it down a little bit, but overall, it looks pretty good. They look so wispy and pretty. I feel like I didn't really have to even cut them. I probably could have cut this eye a little bit more just so it is a little bit more even. This lash I think is a little bit wispier, not wispier, this has a little bit more lashes, so I probably could have cut it, but so far I really like this style. Love how the packaging has these metal bands included in them. That way when you take the lashes off, you can go ahead and just put them back in the box and you know they're not gonna go anywhere. And since those anchors are super small, um, I feel like those can get lost super easy. So super glad that they have those metal inserts in here as well. Let's see, what other one do I wanna apply? Let's do lavish. Since we did a whiskey pair, we'll do the thicker pair. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these lashes off right now. And then we'll go ahead and apply the lavish lashes. Just wanted to show you now that they're off, look at that. They were super easy to take off and they fit right back in the packaging beautifully. And these are much thicker and longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. All right, so now I'm gonna put the lavish lash on top of that light. And I did cut them just a little bit. Okay, perfect. And these are much thicker than the other ones, a lot less wispy, so I think that's where I want it to sit. And then let me go ahead and take my anchors. And the key with the anchors, you wanna make sure it's like under, so it's kind of like sandwiching your real lash and falsies like in between them. That way they don't move, that's kind of like the key. That's crazy. <laughs> These are thick. All right, so I went ahead and applied the other lash off camera. A little bit intense for the makeup I do have going on right now, but I think they look so glam and like really pretty. They were super easy to apply. I did have a little trouble at first, again, with the anchors. But again, that was just because they were kind of getting stuck to the uh, metal adhesive, but it was because I was holding it wrong. So um, I had a slight learning curve. I had to put on some lower bottom mascara. So love these. I think that brought it together just a little bit more. And the cool thing about these magnetic lashes is you can use them up to 60 times and reuse them, which is so cool, especially because if you're gonna be spending money on lashes, especially if they're a little bit more expensive, you want to be able to use them multiple times. I know I do. So definitely excited about that since it's not like a one and done product, which I love when you can use things multiple times. I've been loving these ever since I've got them in just because how easy they are to apply and effortless. And that's kind of one of the things that makes eyelashes like not inaccessible for me, but just not wanting to spend the time in doing because your girl gets lazy. I don't want to spend time cutting and again, waiting for the glue to dry. I'm like, I have places to go, places to be. So if I can just put on some eyeliner that's already a step in my routine and then just pop these babies on is an A plus from me for sure. So now that I've done the lash try on portion, now I'm gonna go ahead and get into the nails and we're gonna apply these puppies and see how they look to my nails because these are, if you can see them right now, very crusty. I like tried to cut them. I really tried to get all of the dip off. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and further get all this um, dip polish off my nails and then I'm gonna apply one of these press-ons and I'm debating which one I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do the purple, but I might save this for Valentine's Day, be a little different, I don't know. But let me go just go take these off and, and review these. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you how to apply the nail. So I decided to go with the pink soda nails. I have done a couple. This is extra glue, so ignore that, but I'm just gonna show you how to apply these. So I already pushed back all of my cuticles and then kind of like got all of my dip and stuff off the nail. So what we're gonna wanna do now, so right now I'm gonna take one of these nails from the package and as you can see, so what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna take the glue and I'm gonna go on with this nail, so you can see that. And I just put like a little dot and then I'm kind of just putting it on the nail. Like you don't need a lot of glue at all. That's where I made the mistake with my thumb. And then again, just kind of dot of glue, swirl it on the bottom half of the nail. And then what we wanna do with the glue on the finger is apply here. Make sure it's aligned with the cuticle and push like that. And you really just wanna hold this or at least on the box that is 10 to 20 seconds. And it's super, super easy. And the reason these are um, a little shorter, you can go ahead and cut the nail and file if you want so you can see they're much shorter and that's just what I prefer. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this nail and then I'll show you once it is filed. As you can see, I went ahead and cut it. Now let's go ahead and file it and they provide a file, which is great, so. And I am not a professional nail artist. <laughs> I am just your average gal, so don't judge my filing. Oh, perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my nails and as well as my right hand so you can see a nice before and after. So much better with the nails. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my fingers and then I will be right back. All right guys, so I went ahead and I had finished my nails. So this is how they are looking. I think they turned out pretty good. I did have some difficulties just on these two. Like I like, this is totally on my bad. Like I think I put the wrong sizes on these two fingers compared to these two. Not necessarily the wrong sizes, but different sizes. But I think they came out pretty good in general and like you can't even tell. And it was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be, which was awesome. Like once the glue dries and everything, and then it's just kind of filing them after at that point, getting them to where you want. But like, I think they look so good. I already applied some like cuticle oil. I could see these definitely being great for something like you're in a pinch, you can't get a nail appointment, or you're like trying to save some coin, then you can definitely do these yourself at home. I even thought of like I had a friend do this. Um, like if you just got engaged and you didn't get your nails done, like just have some of these in your bag or and just like pop them on and then you can like go ahead and take pictures with like really cute nails. I even cut them and I think they still look really good and like ombre, which is nice. So for my first experience, I've never done press on nails before. So my first experience, I think it went really well, really smooth and I was very pleasantly surprised. So I was super excited about these and I'm excited to change these up and use the purple tip ones for Valentine's Day. I just think they look, I think they look so good. And I'm like, that's cheaper than a salon, let me tell you. And I'm definitely gonna keep using these lashes. I do have a description code down below where you can get 15% off your order. So even though these can get a little pricey, go ahead and save some coin using my discount code down below. It is an affiliate link, so if you're not comfortable using that, Totally understand, uh, but if you do use it, thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. It means the world to me. But yes, again, can't, can't recommend these enough. Thank you so much to Glamnetic for sending things over and collaborating with me. I don't have time in the morning and on time during the day, but these are very quick and they hold really well, so super excited about them. So even though these are a little bit pricey with the lashes themselves, I think they're very comparable to other lashes since that's kind of like what you pay at like other retailers. So I think the lashes are a good price and then I feel like the liner just makes it so easier. Definitely get the double liner because I really love the brown and the black colors. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know if you try out Glamnetic, either the lashes or the nails. If you're interested in more beauty content, then you can go ahead and click this playlist here. Or if you want some more skincare, maybe some lifestyle content, you can go ahead and click here and I will see you in the next video.